one of the, the central part of, of the cell biology is uh, mitochondria. And of course, I recognize that I'm completely biased because I love mitochondria. And so I see mitochondria everywhere and other people would uh, see autophagy or other aspect uh, everywhere in the biology of disease. But really, I think that there is a kind of intersections between key mechanisms because for years, mitochondria has been approached from the angle of producing energy, ATP, but we know now that mitochondria is doing uh, much more than that. And in part, uh, given the role in, for example, calcium signaling or lipid synthesis in relation with the ER, for example, we know that the healthiness of mitochondria in the cell is absolutely critical. Uh, neurons specifically, which are of course the, the cell in the brain that we are most concerned, not the only concern, but most concerned, are postmitotic cells, so they're not replaced. So a lot of structure, a lot of machinery, it's very old, it's as old as we are. And so mitochondria does not ex escape that. And so we need to have mechanism to keep the, I would say, the populations of mitochondria in your cells as healthy as possible. And that's where really autophagy and mitochondria intersect, whereby uh, there is a turnover, a replacement of aging or defective mitochondria as best as we can uh, to keep the population of mitochondria intact. And that's really give rise to a lot of direction of research in Parkinson's disease and other neurodegenerative disorders where basically alterations in this mechanism may impact on the ability of the cells to remain healthy uh, and functional. So if mitochondrial turnover is altered uh, by mutation, for example, and we know that there is a number of mutations in Parkinson's disease that happen to target exactly that mechanism, it will lead to defective function in the neurons and ultimately perhaps to the demise of, of that cell. And so I think that in terms of mitodynamics, Really, to me, uh, a lot of work has been done to try to understand better what is the machinery that govern this mechanism. But I think that at this point, what to me may call for a little bit more attention, it's what it's exactly the significance. We believe that it's very important. I think that it's very important, but we still need, to, in my mind, to have better understanding of what is really the significance if you alter this mechanism, because we know that we cannot alter it in a complete manner. That will be lethal. So it's really subtle alterations that happen. And so how is that leading to, to disease? Is that explaining why it takes so long for the disease to emerge? Uh, so all of these questions need to be addressed. And the reason why I think that that could be very important is to some extent your, the nature of your question, which is that to identify it from there, uh, tar uh, druggable targets to try to mitigate those alterations and bring improvement in the cell, the cell in the brain, the brain to the patient.